Okay, so as usual, I got this idea in my head and I just started making it. I, uh, I forgot to pull the cameras out like I usually do. So um, let me just show you real quick what I did. So we have the Xmark Vantage 36, as you guys have seen in many of my videos. Um, I really don't ever run a bagger with this mower, but I do run gator blades on it a lot. So, um, I was looking at a few different people's videos on how they made shoot blockers for the side. Now, um, if you guys remember a while back, I had that accelerator bagger and I cut this up. When I bought this mower, it didn't have the flap or nothing on it like that comes on. I bought it used. Um, but uh, I cut this and kind of notched it out so that I could hang the accelerator bagger off and I could use it on this one or the 52 that I had that I sold before I bought the uh, 52 Tiger Cat new last year. But um, so that's why there's extra holes in here drilled for the piece to go through and then the basket to hang on there. But um, I got rid of that bagger last year. I actually traded it up for a four wheeler <laughs> to a buddy of mine because I never used it. Um, but anyway, so like I said, whenever I use this mower, I just cut with it. Um, I don't ever bag with this thing. So I've seen a few different ideas on YouTube on how guys made mulching plates, or uh, like shoot blockers. Um, just one to hang on there, because like I said, a lot of time I run gator blades. So let me show you what I did. I had, uh, you see some of it down there, some of that plate steel. It's only four inches, and I needed it to be um, like five and a quarter. So what I did is I took a piece of that, and then I had another thin piece of steel, so I welded it to that plate, and I drilled a bunch of holes in it because a bunch of the designs I saw online, um, guys had them with holes in them, either bought like that, or they put them in themselves, and it helps some of that airflow to come out. That way, it uh, that way, it just it's less clogging, and I guess for some of them, so it didn't flip it up. But I won't have to worry about that with mine. Um, I am going to paint it red. I just didn't have any red paint, so I threw a coat of this Krylon camouflage. It's made from metal, and it actually works really, really good. So let me show you what I did. So anyway, I welded them two pieces together. I took metal studs. I welded the studs to the back, and I drilled holes in them. So now I just take this piece here, put it on just like that, and I have these two pins. Stick them in the hole there. Hold on, I'm messing with this other pin. Take that pin there, put it in the hole, snap it on. Nothing's on there, it ain't going anywhere. And that's gonna be the shoe blocker. I know it looks kind of looks at an angle now, but this piece right, this piece right here along the top is bent and it's not even, it never was. Um, so that's why it looks at an angle, but it is pretty straight. I'm up the same height on the bottom. I'm up about a uh, half inch on the bottom, and I know that will allow uh, some grass to come out, but at least it won't be spraying in the flower beds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's just my basic idea of this. Uh, just an idea for something to do today, more or less. I was pretty bored, but uh, I've been wanting one, and you know, I may add to the bottom. I can always weld another piece across there, or if this works, I mean, this thing took me half hour 40 minutes to make if that just on a scrap steel I had laying around so if need be I can make one that's even taller if I find out that half inch gaps gonna be a problem down there but I highly doubt it is I'm covering almost the entire width of the opening of that mouth there uh, top to bottom I overlap by like two inches on either side so it's definitely wide enough so I'll get some red paint and I'll paint it red. I just wanted to put that on um, so that, that metal didn't start to oxidize, rust, everything else. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what I did today. That's my homemade shoe blocker. I did look, when I saw a couple of them online, I looked for ideas on how to make them. And there's like two videos. Uh, nobody really, everyone just pretty much shows what they have. They don't go into detail to show how they made it, which I guess I really am not because I'm not, um, I didn't film me actually making it, but I, I believe I've showed you every aspect of it, exactly what I did, like I said, all the way with the studs and the pins, there's a little gap there because of the weld, but, uh, 
nothing's gonna make a big difference. You might get a little bit come up through, but like I said, it's gonna stop 90% of it at least, and it will definitely do the job. So, if you guys had any, uh, any ideas on how to make one of these real cheap and real easy, there it is. That's, uh, like I said, I made it out of scrap steel I had laying around. And it took me like a half hour, welded it together, drilled some holes in it, and done. That's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, or hit the unlike. I don't care. But hit the subscribe, check it out, and uh, check out my other videos. Uh, there's a lot more on there, that's for sure. Thanks a lot.